everyone, VJZ Crazy back with another video. Today we got the DMC Elites in Ruse, which of course Ruse, if you're not aware, is French for red. The tuck case actually has a, a dark maroon color to it. And you can see this texture embossing on there, it's pretty cool. I guess this is kind of the back and this is kind of the front, but whichever way you want to say it. I'll do this as a front though. It says DMC in the center of this foil logo. And of course it says Drum and Money Poots. That's what DMC is. And Be Love Believe. And Elites on the bottom. Nothing on one side or the other. Aside from that texture. Which feels really nice. And same at the top. The bottom. Says it's classic finish. Designed by Philip Smith. Carter Munde. CarterMunde.com produced them. And on the back. You just see this gold foil. Diamond circle. Thing. Uh, symbol. Nothing on the flaps. We get to the cards. And I do believe this is a new stock that they've recently produced for custom decks. They're trying to compete in the custom deck world with USPC and Legends and Expert. So clearly stand for that. First of all, you get a card on Elite's history. Look at that embossing you see on there. Pretty cool. And it says the Elite's deck is one of the uh, most Devious smart deck systems ever created in 2014 British Magician DMC collaborated with magic designer Phil Smith to carve out a timeless design that incorporated Smith's unique optical marking system. 2016 DMC entered into a partnership with Carter Mundi, the world's largest producer of playing cards, after a tireless development process searching for the perfect card stock and finished. The company gave special permission for the elites be the first ever deck of cards printed on the revolutionary number nine finish. So it's a classic finish or was a classic stock. Classic finish, number nine finish. I guess it's the same thing. And it says today the collaboration between these three parties has resulted in one of the greatest mark decks available from the distance today. The elites. Please use these cards responsibly. Don't use them to cheat your friends or scam people. And it says a card moon day at Sovereign Point Cards accept no legal responsibility for the abuse or exploitation of these playing cards. So don't do it. <laughs> um, and you see that circle diamond on top, just like the front of the top case. An interesting pattern in there as well. You see, so you actually see the backs of the cards. The pin there, which is pretty cool. Um, speaking of the back, there it is, a nice red color. With those diamonds on there and lots of uh, little diamonds throughout I guess it's kind of a diamond back kind of a new version of a diamond back you got a card that explains the uh, the marking it tells you what each how each suit is represented and also the tens which I'll put that here <laughs> And to the Jokers, it's a Joker, it says Joker in the Corners, you see a silhouette of Drum and Money Coots, who I think kind of reminds me of the Hitman a little bit. <laughs> and the other one's the same thing, except it's got a Two of Hearts reveal in his, in his shirt, in his jacket, which is always cool. The Ace of Spades, nice big spade pit, I like it, with the logo on there, on the front, the Drum and Money Coots, DMC, Be Love, Believe. <laughs> And the court cards are standard card of Munde. If you've never seen it before, they look like that. They're similar to USPC. Fairly similar, but different in their own right. It's like they told the artists, we need a court card that looks like theirs, but are slightly different. Or maybe it was vice versa. Maybe USPC stole or bored their court cards. I don't know. And the number cards, fairly straightforward. Pips are a bit different than the USPC, but... Similar, similar enough. You know, it's mostly in the clubs, I guess. So that is that. I'm not going to go too much into the marking system. It is pretty simple. It's one of my favorite ones, probably. Because it just... Pops into your face. <laughs> uh, I will say this, the cards... I was comparing this to the Bicycle Ghost I just got. And it is... Um, a bit thicker the deck overall than the USB-C one. Handles half decently. 
pretty good actually, probably one of the better handling Cardamunde decks I've had thus far. Um, sorry, the marking system, well, somewhat. This card is a free of diamonds. Nine of clubs. Queen of diamonds. And, oh, I just noticed there's a, a bit of a problem with that card. Oh, well, my minor thing. Six of diamonds. And one more. Two of diamonds. So, yeah, it's a pretty simple system. It, if you know what to look for, it just stares you right in the face. You can't miss it. Which is good. And, I mean, a, uh, a layman is probably not going to notice. Now, I want to thank Sovereign Playing Cards for, and Drummond Money Coots for sending me these decks. It's not the first time they sent me decks. I would have bought them myself, except that they only accept PayPal. And, of course, most of you know I have issues with PayPal, so I can't do it. Uh, had I known that collectible cards and playing cards on that one night were going to be selling them, I probably would have held off. But hey, this is better. And as a result, they sent me another deck, sealed, brand new, hopefully defect free, that I will give away. I don't do a lot of giveaways, but since I have it, I will give it away. And I might do more giveaways in the future. Uh, if you want to enter, post a comment down below. Tell me what that card is. Alright, there it is. That's that card. I'm going to have a look myself. If you can tell me what that card is, it's a good one. It might confuse you a little bit uh, if you saw the markings or not. But um, if you tell me what that is, post a comment down below. Also, tell me why you want the stick. What are you going to use it for? Because I like to, you know... I prefer to give it away to a magician or a collector, somebody who has a use for it since it is a marked deck, as opposed to just some random person looking for a giveaway, looking for a freebie. So, that's what I want you to do. Tell me what card it is in the comments below, and tell me why you want this deck, personally, how you're going to use it, that sort of a thing. So, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Check out collectiblepointcards.com, use the code VJZ32, save 10%. They do have this deck available there, I believe. And uh, that is that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Good luck. I will do the results sometime in the not-too-distant future. I'll probably have it open for a week or something like that. Just to give everyone a chance, all right? See ya.